Hello everyone, light and love. Uh, I'm gonna. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, ancestral spirits. Uh, ancestral spirits are not just our loved ones, but they are the elements around us: the sky, the moon, the sun, the trees, uh, what we eat, what we put in our. These are ancestral spirits that sustain our life as well. That has been with us since birth. So we pray, um, we honor those ancestral spirits as well. Uh, a lot of you do not honor as uh, ancestors too if you come from a dysfunctional home as I do. Uh, it's very hard to, you know, you think that you don't have ancestors that you can honor, but you have ancestors that died in the Middle Passage, you know, in, in horrific ways that probably was, you know, buried in shallow graves that didn't get a proper burial. So, you know, you have to pray for those uh, ancestors as well, you know, who died and was ridiculed and abused. So you have to pray for them as well, that their soul is at peace, you know, send them love, you know. Um, then um, you have to understand, too, that you got ancestors before slavery. They were very in tune well with the spiritual practices of our ancestors. And some of these was priests, priestess, spiritualists, uh, herbalists, uh, you know, they served as doctors, you know, they were healers, you know. I mean, so and they had vows. They had these these um what you call uh they had they they own way of doing things, you know, so and they had vows where they vowed to to keep doing these, they had apprentices and, and, and initiations and family members who kept doing doing these kind of things. You know, you know, vowed to be healers in their community. They kept it. This was a part of their heritage. This was a big part of African heritage because a lot of us were very in tune with nature and knew how to call on our ancestral spirits to aid us in this life. We were very in tune with nature. Uh, another thing that's important about uh, African ancestral spirits and most of our um, deities are our ancestors. I found this out working with angels. That's why they say angels are non-denominational because uh, they work with any religion because our ancestors were in religion. They're talking about our ancestors. And when you start looking at these deities, uh, one of the deities I can talk about in the Orisha is Shango. Uh, Shango is another uh, was another deity. He was a king, and not, and uh, he was later deified because what you know some of the uh, things he did for his community and his people, and we later uh, honored him. You know, so and then you got to remember that other uh, cultures they adopted ours. You know, they adopted our uh, gods and stuff and took them back. To their community and began to worship them as well so um this this went on so you see a lot of covering up i remember when i first started working with angels i didn't believe it at first until i started finding here lately a lot of documentation on it uh but when i was like 28 or 29 years old when a angel book flew off the shelf uh in the bookstore and landed in front of me and uh, I started laughing. I was already believing in spirit guides. And, and then I had started opening because I started happening. I've always had phenomena happen to me since I was a child. So uh, I, have, I had already started exploring with the new age thing. But I had not, did not know enough spiritual information about African spirituality. But I knew enough to where I began to work more closely. I knew I had a spirit guide and a garden angel. So uh, I start I started working with angels like when I was twenty eight or twenty nine. Here lately, uh, within the five the last five years, uh, I was when I started uh, working with my ancestors. I later found out the angels told me that the angels and ancestors was the, was the same thing, and I began to do more research into that and to find out angels and ancestors are the same thing. You know, they were just relabeled by European society. But all of it is based off African spirituality. Okay, that's what's going on here. But yet African spirituality is being demonized. Yet they are using it to try to dominate the world with it. 
but in the wrong aspect. Okay, so uh, it's very important to honor our ancestors. It's very, very important, uh, you know. And you may have some a dysfunctional family and say, "Oh, I don't have any ancestors," you know. I understand that's that's the that's the family that needs the most love, especially one with more psychological problems, you know, the ones that's got bipolar or schizophrenic. Those are ones you need to pray for the most. There's some spiritual gifts being rejected there, and that's why it's, it's a lot of that going on there. You know, uh, when you break vows, you know, th those, 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 uh, that DNA has to repair itself. This is not only a historical link that we have with our ancestors, but it's a biogenetic link, you know, we have with our ancestors as well. You know, once you start meditating and you start opening up your DNA, you're going to be resonating with different things and and i my suggestion to you is when you start resonating with stuff uh start doing more research on it on you know what it is you know and i'm sure it will lead back to your ancestors and that that's that's usually how i work um uh, for those of you that are beginning to awaken and so um you know that would happen as well uh but Send love, you know, send love to your ancestors. I have a dysfunctional family, too. I sent, I sent love to them. I had an aunt that died, and me and her were not on good terms when she died. And it, it really upset me that we were not on good terms. I did not like the way she passed over. She was living a very risky life. Uh, I knew she was better than that. I, I was just so, you know, upset because we didn't, we didn't hash things out right when she died and the way she died. And uh, I talked to my mom about it, you know, and I really love my aunt. That was my favorite aunt. She was my favorite aunt, so I just couldn't believe it, you know. And she was the baby. So uh, I just, you know, and I kept having this dream about me going back to this house, you know, this house where all this water, you know. And I was, you know, I was like, why well, I keep going back to this house? And it was a strange house because it looked like a house she used to stay in that was across the street from this park. You know, and um, it was, you know, I, I saw myself carrying my, my nieces and nephews in this house, you know. And I was just like, why am I here? What is going on? Uh, so the third night when I dreamed the dream, I was actually in the house again. But this time I was in the house uh, laying across the bed talking to some friends. And she walked in the room and she had this beautiful smiling glow on her face. And she asked, uh, she called me Ray. She never called me Penny. She said, Ray, can I talk to you? And I said, yes. And as she sat on the bed, you just, I, I just knew everything was okay. You know, we was okay that she was all right. And that she knew I loved her and she loved me, you know. Uh, so, you know, just because it's dysfunctional don't mean that you can't go and repair, uh, repair things, you know. And I really believe that we we repaired things, you know. Ever since I've been communicating with my ancestors, my grandmother, I remember uh, so many things about them that they loved about the family, you know. Uh, and it just it and I send that love, you know. My life is is uh, uh, so uh, different. Um, the other day I went out there, um, like for example. The other day, lately, I've been really wanting to get out and do a ritual, one of those uh, rituals, give a, a offering on the uh, river, do a offering ritual on the uh, river. And uh, it's just been raining, 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 raining. But uh, lately, I've been trying to communicate with the Orishas because I feel like, um, you know, they were deities of my ancestors. These are ancestral spirits, so I called on them, uh, you know. I called on them <clears throat> for spiritual development. So I called, and I was calling uh, on them. And I said, oh, I really want to go out here and do uh, ritual ancestors, you know, if it could just stop raining for like five or ten minutes so I can do my thing, you know. And so it stopped raining. I got in my car. It was raining when I went out there to Willow Beach Park. It was raining. Oh, I love that park. It's so beautiful. It's so isolated. Uh, you could just have time to think. It's like the psychic energy. It places where it's a lot of trees and, you know, it's a natural habitat. Um, you know, that's the psychic energy is so pure there. It's a lot. You can do a lot of cleansing there. 
uh, the connection, the entombment with with nature is so uh, you can feel it. You know the vibrations. You can feel the the connection with nature. So I just love going out there because I, I always feel uplifted uh, when I when I leave from back out out there. So and I've been going there for years. Never knew why, but I love going there. You know. So uh, I went out there, and it was raining, and by the time I pulled up, it stopped raining, and the sun came out, and I began to uh, petition, do my, you know, speak out my petition and my ritual, and light my candles and stuff, and put my offering on the river, and I mean, it stopped raining. Uh, when I first pulled up, I saw this beautiful white pelican. Again, I usually don't see these uh, unusual birds on this lake. I've never seen these before. So when you see signs like that, uh, that's the ancestors speaking to you. Do not dis dismiss it. You know, just not dismiss it. Not, and I'm not dismissing it because it was raining. The sun came out of everything. Actually, as I was praying this prayer, the sun came out over me. Uh, and I gave my offering. So uh, it was it was, uh, it was, was beautiful. So, you know, honor the ancestors. Let's send them love. You know, especially the ones that died in the middle passage. You know, let's pray for them. Uh, you know, you don't have to say any particular name. Just pray for your ancestors. You know, uh, we have been cut off from them. So that's why I I always emphasize pray for it to your ancestors. Pray for your ancestors. Um, the loved ones that you have lost, you know. Pray for them, send them love, because they are the ones who watch over us, okay? They are the ones that watch over us. So this full moon, try sending that energy over there for your spiritual development, for your awareness and your understanding, for your healing. Send that, um, you know, send that love over there. You know, we need to start exchanging this this energy between us, and that, that is the exchange of, of, of energy, you know? Of sending love to our ancestors, so don't for uh don't forget about our ancestors. You know, uh, I don't think it's anything else I'm missing. I hope this video helped you. Um, I hope it helped you. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, light and love, and may the ancestors be with you.